For many years, the people have been asking the question, who is really the king of the dancehall? Who really holds the crown of a dancehall? Who you feel right now, I king of the dancehall? Cartel or Beanie Man? Is it Beanie Man? The artist who dominate the 90s and early 2000s with massive hits. Taking the genre to international stages. No disrespect to me, Jimmy. That give me any money now. Or is it Vibes Cartel, the lyrical genius, the street icon and dancehall hero who many believe has now overtaken Beanie Man in both influence and dominance? Vibes Cartel, guys are forever. Same, Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel, man. <laughs> Vibes Cartel. What do you think of Vibes Cartel? Beanie Man crowning himself. Vibes Cartel proving himself. It's a full full question that day. No more Cartel. What do you think of Cartel? Beanie Man was a self proclaimed king. Like, we get out of the title, and we have to get a title. Somebody's gonna have to tell the truth, and I'm gonna tell it. Well, my people, I'm Kenny Unshu, and today we dive into the real dancehall battle. The old school versus the new school. And who truly deserved the title, king of the dancehall. And to understand all of this, we're going back to the roots of both of these artists. Me and Yana the king, no more. No more. That'd be stupid. Take it. Neither one. Be tuned. Oh. Yeah. And I must have teach the king now. A lot of artists in Vibes Cartel running the place now and trying to get their 50 minutes of fame. Yeah, but we still have two of the world. We're teaching them. No, me, no. Me think you are the king. Their 15 minutes of fame gone a long time. And no matter what they do, it can't come back. It's Vibes Cartel time now. And you have to accept that. Let's start with the man who wants wear the crown, Beanie Man. With iconic songs like Who oh Am I and The Girls Them Sugar. Beanie Man didn't just make hits, he defined dancehall for an entire generation. He was one of the first few artists who take dancehall out of the Jamaican streets and push it into the global stage, even winning the Grammys. And the winner is... It's Beanie Man. That alone made him a global ambassador of dancehall and for years he was untouchable. Beanie Man even cementing his claim with the song King of the Dancehall, boldly declaring that the throne belongs to him. I disputed for saying King of the Dancehall. No, well, this crown have a Grammy underneath it. Uh, and some mobos and uh, some billboard hits. Uh. But you're not taking issues with no, I'm Cartel, not, are you? For what reason? I'm not taking no issues with Cartel. I am here before him and still here with him. I'm proud that somebody won my crown. They can be king of the street. Many believe that once Vibes Cartel rose to prominence, Beanie's dominance started to slip. Vibes Cartel entering the dancehall scene, the man who came up under Beanie Man's biggest rival, Bounty Killer. Cartel didn't just burst onto the scene, he totally took over this thing like a storm. Cartel quickly became known for the most controversial figure in dancehall history when it comes to skin bleaching. Me, Michael, Cake Soap Jackson. Me, Michael, Cake Soap Jackson. Got the ball bouncing and cancel the dance. Because you know, the world vibes can't go. Women especially, them just can't contain themselves. Just acting all crazy females, you know what I mean? I wipe off my sweater from my body and I wipe it from there. And the first artist to ever physically attack another artist on stage. So for Cartel is from beef to scandals, but that's not always just it. Most importantly, the it's. Hit songs like Fever, Clocks and Summertime at the streets totally on fire. And Cartel then suddenly appearing everywhere. He wasn't just making music, he was shaping the culture with his influence. Everything Vibes Cartel said, the masses follow. Dancehall hero, where'd the name come from? The dancehall hero well, the dancehall hero come from the fact that Vibes Cartel is the hero for dancehall because at a time when dancehall was going into a lull, hip hop was threatening to take over Jamaica culture. There comes Vibes Cartel from 2002 with a new style, a new flow, a new everything, you know what I mean? And keep dancehall up to the time, you know what I mean? That's even artists like Rihanna and, and, and Nicki Minaj can say, you know, say Vibes Cartel our favorite DJ. And his lyrics is always raw and unfiltered and that connects with the youth like no other artist before him. But Cartel wasn't just building a legacy and the music. 
he built a movement, the Gaza Empire. Cartel influence became so powerful that even with his incarceration in 2011, he still managed to become the artist of the decade and releasing multiple hit songs and still control the streets. He remained the most played artist in dancehall and the fans continue to crown him as the real king of dancehall because of all of this. But my people, here's where things get even spicier. Even Beanie Man started aligning himself with the Gaza movement. He declared himself the emperor of the Gaza without even co-signed by Vibes Cartel himself. And this starts sparking rumors and speculation that Beanie Man was trying to stay relevant by riding Vibes Cartel wave. But now here's where things get really controversial. In recent interview he stood by his claim as the king of the dancehall, arguing that Cartel Rise wouldn't have happened without the foundation that he built. And what here the problem is now, who bring him to the front end? Amazing picture this, best, but I'm producing to him. Mm -hmm. I me put him a billboard, me put him right his spot. And me tell him, say, you can't make Wayne Marshall them sing the whole of your punchline, learn to sing. And put him right there. So, the question, is Beanie Man really the one who paved the way for Vibes Cartel's success? Or is he trying to stay relevant in an area where the streets have already chosen their new king? Some claim Beanie Man's international success and longevity solidify his position while others argue that Cartel with his unmatched lyrical ability and cultural impact has already surpassed Beanie Man. But here's the bottom line though, even though Beanie Man have all the accolades, the Grammys and the global recognition, Vibes Cartel hold the streets that no other artist before him has ever done before. And Cartel didn't just make hits, he redefined what it mean to be a dancehall artist. Whether it is his unapologetic lyricism or his controversial persona, Cartel's grip on dancehall of many fans consider him as the greatest artist to ever do it. They've crowned Vibes Cartel as the true king of dancehall. But here's a real question my people, do you think Beanie Man is still the king of dancehall or Vibes Cartel has stolen that throne for good? I know this debate will continue but, but one thing is for sure though, maybe the dancehall king is always going to be up for grabs because there's a new generation coming up right now and some people are saying some artists are the new king of this generation. So my people, let me all know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like and share this video and also subscribe and leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. So that way you don't miss out on controversial topic like this as it relates to dancehall and reggae music. I don't know. So let me all know what you think about that. Despite Beanie Man doing a song say he representing for the Gaza and he's the emperor of the Gaza and what's not. Let me all know what you think about that in the comment section my people.